What's going on guys, welcome to the video. So if you just saw the last one, we were just leaving Tulsa. This is just the start of the next video. We're still in Tulsa, still in the apartment complex, but we're just about ready to head to uh, San Diego. So this whole video is gonna be the trip to San Diego, getting back to the West Coast and the start of off season. So let's do it, let's go. Let's go Mimi, let's go Gucci. Whoa. Reverse, reverse, reverse. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> We're just getting a Starbucks right now, but look at this. We're going to Denver tonight, 10 hours and 21 minutes. It is nine o'clock in the morning, and we're supposed to get there at six, probably 30 at night. 700 miles. Probably longer. Oof. Tell the people our, our itinerary. Like, where are we going? Denver. And then? Grand Canyon. And then? San Diego. You heard it here first. Hi, right, what's going on, guys? We made it to Denver, Colorado. So it's like 8.30 at night. We've literally been driving all day, but we're here. All day. In the beautiful <laughs> Ramada Inn. This hotel is huge though. Gucci's here, it's pet friendly. She's happy. I especially love the curtain rod. That? <laughs> <laughs> it looks rubbery. <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm pretty much just going to get ready for bed and then just work on editing up the last video, which is the week in the life of, or the last week in Tulsa. Start editing that video up until like 10.30 or so, pass out, and then start all again tomorrow morning. Actually tomorrow morning, I don't know, we gotta talk about what we're gonna do. But the reason why we came up here and went north, instead of just going south through like Texas and Arizona and New Mexico and all that, um, was just because we wanted a, a change of scenery. We've It's like five hours more to do it this way, but we can go through Colorado, Denver, um, and we can go down into the Grand Canyon, which I've never seen before, Mimi's been there. And then it's just a different drive because we've driven that south drive to get to Tulsa and it was a little boring, a little just deserty. So we want something a little bit different, but but yeah, that's, uh, that's the plan. Happy we made it in Denver. I got to text my parents, tell them that, that I'm here and that I'm alive. You already did? Yeah. My parents? Yeah. Oh, and I don't have to text my parents. Cool. <laughs> All right, um, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. in Sagwatch, Colorado. We're about halfway to our uh, destination of Durango, um, which is somewhere in Colorado as well. <laughs> somewhere. Uh, we just, so we're just driving like, we've been driving for what, three and a half hours, three yeah. hours or so. Mm -hmm. uh, we have another three hours to go, but uh, but yeah, just grabbed a little coffee. Now it's my turn to drive. Mimi's been on the sticks for most of the time, so. On the sticks? Yeah. <laughs> Can I help you? Who says that? <laughs> Okay, so we made it to Durango, Colorado. It was about like a six hour, six hour trip. Not bad at all. It was like, I think the perfect, Mimi and I were saying it's like the perfect amount of, of travel time. 10 and a half hours the first day was a lot. And if we wanted to make it all the way to Grand Canyon, 11 hours I think would have been too much. But we're here, it's, it's pretty early. It's 6.30 in the, in the evening. So we're gonna chill for a little bit. Maybe go get something to eat around here. We gotta, we gotta see what's around here. It doesn't look like there's a ton of options, but we'll, we'll figure it out. And then I'm just gonna be working on editing up a vlog. Mimi might go work out in the, uh, in the hotel. Um, but yeah, here's the hotel room, pretty basic. A little bit nicer than the last one, but smaller. But yeah, all good. Okay, about 8.30 in the morning in Durango, Colorado. We're about ready to make the trip out to the Grand Canyon, which really is only like a five and a half hour drive. So today is gonna to be the lightest drive. Only. It really shouldn't be that bad. So we're, uh, we're gonna head out right now. Twin buds. Those are the twin buds, people. Soak it in. So right now we're heading into Four Corners National Monument, which is like where you can touch like New Mexico, Arizona, Colorado, and Utah, I think, all at the same time. It's like right at the point. That's five dollars each. Uh, in the middle so of nowhere, it's they're literally us it's like literally gonna be 30 seconds, but in the middle of the desert. It'll be it'll be worth it. Yeah. It probably won't be worth it, but we just gotta do it. I think that's it right there. 
you. It's kind of like it's kind of like center of the universe. Remember in Tulsa? It's a little bit different, <laughs> but I think this is actually it. Huh? I think this is actually the corner. The what? Yeah, yeah, for sure. There you go. <laughs> 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 What's wrong with you? Well, I want to be in all four states. <laughs> Go in all four. I am in all no, four. No, 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 no. Hand, foot, feet, I'm and not, hands. I'm not going off my hands. Well, <laughs> oh, you're not being very sporty. That's right. There it is. <laughs> How was it? It was great. <laughs> was it worth five, uh, ten bucks? To see you down there on your hands and knees. Yeah. <laughs> I paid, Honestly, that was, I paid 20 for that. That was pretty fun. That was the highlight of the of the trip so far. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> okay, we're in Grand Canyon National Park. We're about ready to see the first scenic over overlook. You're killing it. I'm killing it. <laughs> Uh, so we're just checking out a different viewpoint of the canyon. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> is it bigger than you thought it was or it would be? Yeah, honestly, it's pretty cool. I mean, that's like I think what my dad said about how like I wouldn't make a full separate trip out of it. But if you're like passing through, I think it's sick. Yeah. We're in our hotel right now. And we got some horses. But I'm kind of scared of horses. So I'm not going to go any closer. But it's pretty crazy. We are officially into the final stretch. We have probably about five more hours of driving. And maybe this shift is about done. So now I'm gonna take over. It feels good to be in California again, even though we're in the middle of the desert. It's not the best scenery, but hopefully we'll get to the coast soon. Entering Pacific time zone. Wait, I thought we already are. Yeah, but Arizona oh, doesn't, yeah. doesn't that's right, we talked about that. We made it. Oh my god. Well, don't jinx yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I just cried. The car just stops right here. We're in your neighborhood though, so we can walk easy. Yes, we are. Just leave the car here. 2,000 miles. I'll do it. You happy? Yeah, I'm really happy. I, mean, I, I said uh, to your parents that I haven't been to the beach since uh, January. Yep. We came straight here from my house, obviously. It's amazing. So nice. Look at this. Oh my god! That's Pretty like cool. ice water. Oh, I could do it. I might have a heart attack. Oh but. my god. <laughs> It's pretty cold. Mostly in the middle of the day, it wouldn't be bad. Too cold for you? I don't know. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna jump all the way in. Maybe if it was like 95 in the middle of the day, I'd jump in. So first day in uh, in San Diego, it's gonna be a very typical like off season. Actually, it's not a very typical off season day. Pretty much what we're gonna do today is go to the gym. But for the first entire first week, I'm not touching a weight. I'm not doing even body weight exercises. I'm not touching a soccer ball. I really want to let my body recover and rest. Um, so I, was, I I think I'm gonna take two weeks completely off of soccer, one week completely off of everything. Today I'm just gonna go into the gym and do yoga. That's it. And then the next week, the second week, is going to be kind of like doing a little bit of rehab stuff for the patellar tendon, for the wrist, little problem areas. And then after the two weeks of the rest period, that's when I start like the soccer training and the uh, workouts and slowly start ramping that up again. So it's hard. I hate taking two weeks off. I hate taking any time off. Um, but I know for the long term, my body, my health, and for next season, it's going to be best if I really rest and recover and let the full everything kind of rejuvenate. So go to the gym, do some yoga, and then pretty much just enjoy San Diego, go to the beach today, and uh, run a little bit of errands, but I'm excited. Wait. Who it is? Who it is? New off-season shoes, who it is? It, it's me. <laughs> it's on 
just headed to the beach right now. Mimi's gonna run some errands, but uh, yeah, pretty excited. This is just off season right now. I'm really happy to be back in San Diego and doing all this stuff, going to the beach, having coffee, hanging out. Um, but at the same time, I'm so excited for the training to start. So this is a question I've been getting a lot lately. Uh, what's next, what's next, what's next, which is awesome. I'm really excited that you guys are so excited for, for my career and what's next. Well, like I said, I'm officially in off season. Off season in America usually starts around late October to mid November, depending on if you make playoffs and how far you go into playoffs. And then it will end once preseason starts around mid to late January, depending on whenever your team wants to start preseason training. So you have about two and a half months of no team trainings, no team workouts, nothing. You really are just off. During this time, players will usually they head home, they'll go see family and friends, they'll relax, they'll go take some vacations, and they'll really enjoy this time where they don't have to really kind of show up to work every single day, every single morning. But at the same time, majority of the players will do some sort of individual training, some sort of workouts. Um, some players are, are in good areas where there's lots of other pros or collegiate athletes that they can train with. So everyone's doing some sort of workouts during this off season time. Personally, for me, I'll go in depth later about my exact goals, my exact plans for off season and everything, um, where I'll be, everything but as of right now this is just two weeks completely off like I said a little bit earlier in this video two weeks completely off of soccer training workouts fitness everything after those two weeks I'll start training I'll start working out again and that's when I'll officially start my off-season series which I'm so excited about this is like one of my favorite series to film and to create I think it's really good content I think it's very useful so I'm really really excited to start that but like I said, for my body, the best thing I can do is to let my body completely recover and be ready for this next season, wherever that is. And that kind of brings me to the next question that I've been asked a ton about. What's next for the 2020 season? Am I returning to Tulsa? Am I going somewhere else? What's the plan? I don't really like to say what's going on until it's officially said and done, pen to paper, contract signed or anything. Um, I can say that I haven't signed a contract yet for the 2020 season, but other than that, um, there's not much other information that I, I want to share yet. I've been in talks with my agent like every day, every other day. I'm being very proactive about the next season, but um, you guys will just have to stay patient while I stay patient and kind of figure this all out. I'm definitely in a pretty good situation, a lot better situation than I've been in the past after having pretty good or pretty decent individual season, but you just really never know your plans at all or what's going on until you sit down, get the contract, put pen to paper, sign it, and it's all said and done. So right now that's that's my situation. The next question I've been getting is when is the off season series gonna start? Well, I'm gonna start my off season training on November 3rd. So by the time I film that day, edit it, do everything, it should be up around November 5th. But right now I'm enjoying some rest. I'm enjoying seeing some family and friends. I'm enjoying being very loose with my diet. I'm enjoying just relaxing and sleeping in. Um, and really just kind of chilling. The next video that you guys are gonna see is gonna recap my 2019 season, the highs, the lows, what went well, what went bad, um, what I was happy with, what I wasn't happy with, all that stuff. Um, it's gonna be a full recap about the year. Then I'm gonna put out a vlog from actually from January that I never really got around to editing and posting, but I'm really excited at some good content as well where I went up to Ottawa to go see my agent and to uh, help OPSM with a combine. And then I think the off season series will start. So a few more videos and then the off season is officially gonna kick off. In the meantime, I'll be here in California, sleeping in, eating in and out, going to the beach and just relaxing. So be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video. All right guys, peace.